Hello everyone, welcome to this episode. In this episode, we are going to see how to stitch multiple Atmos files into one, including metadata, objects, bits, everything. Okay. First of all, install the Dolby Atmos conversion tool. Then you can go on to the new composition. Okay. In the new composition, you can add your uh, Atmos files. So I am selecting some of the Atmos files over here. So this one is the one. So make sure your frame rate is consistent towards all the Atmos files, okay, and make sure you have the FFOA in the ta like whatever it's in the file, the Atmos file FFOA. This can be done by using your DAW, DAW in terms of like down chisel or Pro Tools or anything. While exporting, there will be an option called as FFOA that should be the same as what the time code is starting. And one more thing, please set your movie or desired episodes to this like if you are splitting the uh, timeline into many parts and mixing it so that's a good practice and while you are mixing that please make sure that the last frame of the first scene or else the scene you're working on should be the n and the next scenes uh, which is on a different timeline should be the next frame itself okay without any gap in the time code okay so please make sure you see through that and add FFOA relatively like whatever the time code is add that FFOA while exporting and select in and out range properly. Okay. After doing that, we have imported some of the files over here. Okay. Let's add one more uh, master file. So import master file and um, let's see any of the Atmos files. Okay. So if it's an error which is showing up like this, uh, let me show to you again. Okay, anything like this. This is a frame rate mismatch. Okay, because that is running on 30 FPS and this is running on 24 FPS. Make sure that point and then let's add it. Atmos file open. Okay, then we'll drag it over here to the timeline. Okay, make sure the time code here and here are like currently it will overlap so what happens if you have the same time code on both of the things problems will be kind of like something inversion of automation data or inversion of buses or some kind of thing will happen so please make sure you have the time code embedded it would result in an ultimate error okay of your objects so please add your ffoa I'm doing it because to show you guys just to do it but um, well not everyone uses this one like they after this one for example here one zero 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 nine zero zero the next the up one will be uh, zero one zero 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 nine zero one okay like that so it should be like that okay and let's come over to here here the start is zero one zero 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 which is usually the main preferred for cinema as well as ott okay the next one is ffoa okay the starting so both the start and the ffoa should be the same okay and here is the start timing duration everything please look into it carefully okay and select the file format over here which one you want to export the dot atmos or dot rpl or dot wav or dot mxf for imf okay and what is the frame rate please don't f change frame rate over here because it will mess up the video sync okay let it be as it is okay and what is this primary master so primary master is nothing but which one is the first one like which has the better metadata and which is coming in the first scene or first episode or anything related to the first so that will be the primary master okay and then here you got some idea duration end okay then here we have something called as master file sections okay if you click on this and if you go on to this one a small icon will come so you can see all the metadata what and all are there like channels 117 are there objects are 117 bets are zero like that information you can see and ffo is required okay please make sure you have it okay and note one point that whatever bed configuration you are having like four beds three beds or seven beds 
it will be converted to a single bed configuration while merging two or many you can do up to many until your cpu gives up on you okay <laughs> yeah you can do up to many as many as you can okay let's now click on convert so select the desired location where you want okay so i'll set it over here name it master atmos combined hey please use the naming scheme like if you movie title then atmos then uh, the frame rate and then hertz at which it's running on like that please don't write like this okay just saving it okay well that is the naming scheme everyone is using now uh you can check in netflix guidelines or else disney plus guidelines or just uh, you can name it on your own which you can understand yeah basically okay here you will get the message file exported successfully return to timeline so let us just import into one of the dos always always check your final atmos file after it comes okay and one more note please don't throw away your old okay don't tell it old also please don't like per scene atmos file you have done right please don't throw it away please keep it as an archival or else as a as a file which you can use because it might be useful later okay so we have successfully merged it but uh, oh, why is this empty uh, always check for the automation because sometimes if you haven't done any uh like for example okay front back lr okay this is kind of messed up so this is what happens if you don't add ffoa properly like there there was automation here but it isn't showing up right now so please add ffoa like the timing okay and whatever it's your project according to that okay so thank you guys Meet you soon. Take care. Bye bye.